and in just a moment we should be taking a look at dynamic CRM. Accessing this directly from, in this case, an iPhone. When I first open CRM, I'm taken to my home page. Within Dynamic CRM, the home page is customizable for each person using the pin feature available. This allows you to pin and unpin the most important information for quick access. From the home page, I can also navigate to other areas of the system using the menu option in the top right corner. From here, I can get to different areas of the system, such as a list of activities. Then from within this list, I can use the command bar or the ellipses at the bottom to do a variety of other things, like change my view, unpin or pin this particular view to my home page, and also add any new activities. The plus sign from this list also allows me to create new records. In this case, new activities, where I can select the specific activity type. These activities, once created, are also synced to Outlook as well. Also from the top of the screen, I have access to the global search feature. This allows the ability to search for information across all records based on the searchable field set up in each record type. I'm going to do a search for any records where we can find the word ledge view. I see that I have a couple of accounts and a couple of contacts that have been found as a, or as a part of that search. Returning back to home, I can access other features using the command bar or ellipses at the bottom right corner. One of the options available is the ability to add new records. Here I could select add a new lead. Returning back to the home page will show me the items I've pinned for quick access. So I have a couple of dashboards that have been pinned here, a particular opportunity, a particular account, and a list of scheduled activities. I'm going to start by reviewing my scheduled activities. I know I have an appointment later with Doug to review a proposal, and I want to confirm that meeting. From the appointment, I can get to Doug's contact information directly. Once I'm in Doug's contact record, I have access to his phone number. Executing that call, I can place the call and then come back to the create phone call activity record that opened to en enter any call notes and record that as a saved activity. Just in case I want quick access to Doug's record later on today, I'm going to pin his record to my home page. I also want to do a little prep work before my meeting and review the notes I've taken for this account. From Doug's contact record, I can access the LegeView account directly. Once I'm in the account record, I have access to all of the summary information, open activities, notes, and also uh, OneNotes, which is integrated using Microsoft Office 365 and SharePoint. From within OneNote, I can see all of the um, information that has already been captured, and in this case, my initial call notes that I had had. Continuing through the account, I can see my contacts, opportunities, and any recent cases. I want to make sure that I have some availability or some knowledge of this particular case before going into my meeting with Doug, so I don't have any surprises. Now that I've confirmed my meeting, I want to return home to see what else I can focus on for the next couple of hours.
Now, um, I also have pinned an opportunity on my home page because it needs special attention. Going into the opportunity called Interested in Moving Suppliers, I can see what sales stage this opportunity is in. And in this case, case it's in the develop stage of the sales opportunity. You can also look to see any of the opportunity details and activity information. I want to reach out to Mary via email to just check in with her to see um, how things are progressing. And I can access that email directly from the opportunity. Returning back to Mary's contact record, um, I can also update the opportunity and change the uh, information that I might have gathered in, in any ongoing discussions I have with her. So under the develop stage, if I've already identified that, I have um, have identified the key stakeholders or competitors, I can mark those particular items complete in that, in that develop sales stage. And I could also move it um, to the next sales stage if I've completed some of those activities. Next, I'll return home to take a closer look at my salesperson dashboard, which I have pinned to my home page. Within my dashboard, I have access to many different areas, such as activities, opportunities, and open leads. I have some time to make calls, so I'm going to reach out to a couple of new leads. Accessing the lead record for Eric Vassell I can make the call directly from here and enter my call notes before moving on to the next call. And again, I have the call activity that pops open where I can go ahead and record all of my notes. Another feature that's available as I make that phone call is um, using voice activated note taking for the information that's gathered. So using the speaker on my phone, I can record the notes directly into this call activity and save the call. When it comes time for, uh, now that I've completed um, the review of my leads, I also want to take a look at my activity list to see what other things that I could be completing in between my meetings. And as those tasks are completed, I can mark those tasks complete or open up the task, record the notes, and then mark it complete. When it comes time for the appointment with Doug, I can access the appointment directly from my scheduled activity list on my home page. This appointment is linked to the Opportunity MP600 product expansion. I want to be able to review that opportunity with Doug while I'm in our meeting. Because I'm still in the qualify stage of this opportunity, I want to make sure I capture the information to move this opportunity along. Here I can see that I need to capture the time frame. And as that information is updated from my meeting with Doug, I can continue to update it here in the sales stage. While meeting with Doug, I need to create a new follow-up activity, which I can set up from the opportunity record as well. I can set up a task, an appointment, or a phone call while, I have, while I'm in the meeting with Doug. While it's still fresh in my mind, I want to, after my meeting with Doug is done, I want to do some additional follow-up activities. So I do need to um, email him a summary of the meeting directly. Going into his uh, contact record from the appointment, I can, again, directly access his email summary of our meeting today and capture all of the information related to that. 
send out my email, which will then be recorded in my email history and return back to Doug's contact record. Doug also provided the name of another key player I should be talking to, John Landers. So I'm going to access the LegView account record and add a new contact. As I scroll across this account, I can find that the two contacts I currently have in here are Doug and Lisa. And I want to add a new contact from the information that I captured from Doug. And save that record. After the appointment is complete, I want to make sure that I'm recording my appointment notes. So going back to this particular appointment, I can now update any of the information within the description. I could also go back to my OneNotes and update my OneNotes with any information from this meeting as well. Once done, I can mark this appointment as complete. One last thing that Doug requested was a change to the proposal I had recently sent him. To do this, I can access my proposal from Word on my phone. These documents are stored in SharePoint using Office 365. Once this document is open, I can go into edit mode to make any of the changes that are necessary. And then once complete, I can send this attachment in either a Word or PDF format out to, the, uh, out to Doug uh, via email so that he has the latest update. That rounds out the presentation on dynamic CRM for the mobile phone. I'm going